What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Yuri Tastic. With today's episode, I'm going to be covering how to install LSPDFR and how to get it running on your computer. This is a new segment I wanted to do just to kind of make a playlist of how to get everything LSPDFR related going. So this is one of many videos, so make sure you do subscribe because I'll be doing more and more and more videos. I'm planning on doing a whole lot of them to get you covered on every aspect of it. So first of all, if you don't know what LSPDFR is, it's pretty much a plugin or a mod that makes you play as a police officer in GTA. A5 and you can do pretty much anything that real cops do most of you I'm assuming that are searching for this video know what type of mod this is you just want help installing it it's a very very fun fun mod I think it's the best mod that was released uh, for GTA 5 so first and foremost what you want to go is to lcpdf4 uh, slash lspdf4 if you just google it google lspdf4 that's the first thing that will come up anyways so that's the first thing that you want to do then what you want to do is go to mods after mods you want to go to downloads over here hit on downloads and then hit the first one which is the lspdf4 and you download it now i already have it downloaded but for the sake of this video i'll go ahead and download it again generally if you're new to this you just might, might want to do the first one the install not the manual install and download it it's a fairly fairly small file it shouldn't take that long to download all right now that it's downloaded it's going to come with a zip file so go ahead and extract it wherever you want just usually just do it in the desktop and here it is once again i do have it installed so i'm not going to go through the installation necessarily because it's pretty straightforward but you go ahead and run the installation it shouldn't take that long the only thing you need to figure out when installing it is where your gta 5 folder is located sometimes it does automatically de detect where your gta 5 folder is you click next and installed however to play lspdfr after this is done installing you need another thing called rage plugin hook so you go to rageplugin-hook.net, rageplugin-hook.net. you go to downloads and download their latest one once again you have to unzip it so we'll just unzip it here for the sake of this tutorial and this is just a little a little different than that and here you go it has officially been extracted the only thing you need to do to install Rage Plugin Hook is to simply cl click and drag everything except licenses and SDK. I mean, it doesn't really hurt if you drag them, but you don't need them anyways. Click and drag into your GTA 5 main directory folder. So wherever your GTA 5 is located, wherever LSPD4 got installed, you just click all of this once again. Don't highlight these two, click and drag, and boom, Rage Plugin Hook is also installed. And if you want to run GTA 5 with the LSPDF4 mod, this is how you run it. You click on the Rage Plugin Hook.exe, the application, or you can just spin it to the bottom. As you can see here, mine is spinned at the bottom, and you just pretty much click, it comes up, and it goes into the game. The first time you do launch Rage Plugin Hook, you'll have this. Leave everything as it is, just make sure under plugins, make sure that LSPDF4 is indeed selected because it's not always going to be selected but lspd first response the other these things you see right here you're not going to have right away because it's, you haven't installed these plugins or these mods yet so we will go that to the future tutorials so let's recap first thing you need to do is download lspd4 and install it it will install automatically in your gta5 directory after that you go to rageplugin-hook.net, download the latest rage plugin hook once it's extracted all of that, you open the folder, you click, you, you drag these contents except the SDK and licenses into your GTA 5 main directory. You click on this to play GTA 5 with LSPDF 4 in it, and that's it. You're done. But that's pretty much how to install LSPDF 4. It's pretty, pretty simple. It's not as overwhelming as you think. Um, you, of course, you want pl different plugins for LSPD4, but that's like I said at the beginning of the, vi the video. That's what I'll be doing in the future. So make sure you do consider subscribing to this channel, and I will have a playlist just for LSPD4 tutorial guide that I plan on doing and covering everything you need to know as far as LSPD4. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment with any questions you guys have, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.